so excited. Fashion, beauty, all the girly things. Oh, I shot my first YouTube video. This channel, I feel it in my spirit, is gonna be something special. First sip some tea. Living our best lives and leveling up and glowing up. I love this for me. I really, really love this for me. See the glow, can you see the glow? I hope you can see the glow. Hello beautiful people, oh my gosh, I can't even believe that this moment is finally here. Welcome to the Conscious and Chic YouTube channel. I am so excited to be here. This has been a long time coming. I've been wanting to be on YouTube for a while now and Ooh, child, it's been a minute. Where have I been? I have been, I think, oh gosh. Okay, wait, 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 let me not be rude. First of all, if you, it's your first time on my channel, I'm Kathleen and this is a space for people who want to level up, live their best life, but also care about the people and the brands that they shop and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. This is my first video in a long time. And like I said, it's been a long time coming. We've had the pandemic and like before the pandemic, seriously, I was living my best life. I don't know if anybody else, 2018, 2019, I was traveling a lot, doing brand deals and going on brand trips and campaigns and all in the name of just making better choices when it comes to like the fashion and the beauty brands that we shop. And I got a lot of great opportunities to work with brands. And then the pandemic hit and it kind of went and I was really focused on helping people. And so I did a lot of disaster relief and feeding people who couldn't get food or couldn't get cleaning supplies. And that took over my entire world. Now fast forward to today, I'm finally sitting in this chair and I have to tell you, it is a little bit surreal because I have thought of this moment so much. I have dreamed of it, I like I, but you know, life was just life in. You know, sometimes life be life in. And if you are anything like me, you maybe like overthink a little bit. I think I have, um, I, don't wanna, I wouldn't call it analysis paralysis, but I'll definitely say that I like to think things through before I actually do them when it comes to certain things. So in other things, I'll be more spontaneous. And so relaunching, launching this YouTube channel is part me putting my foot down and saying, all right, you're done thinking about this, you're just gonna do it. But also, as you'll see in the content, as it comes up, it's definitely wanting to bring more of that spontaneity onto doing something like YouTube. Because definitely YouTube was more thought through for me. It's like, okay, I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna post it on this day, this is what I'm gonna do in it. And not really like the script per se, because I'm not a script person. I like to talk so I can talk all day but more so, okay, what's my direction? And I'm not saying by any means that you shouldn't have direction or purpose behind what you're doing. I just think that sometimes it's okay to go with the flow and have a little bit more spontaneity in what you're doing. And so I don't know if this is a message for someone, because this is not something that I really planned on saying today, but maybe you want to start a channel or you want to, become a content creator or an influencer or a teacher or an engineer or whatever it is that your dream is and you're overthinking it and you're maybe stuck in analysis paralysis and this is your sign. This is your sign that you are gifted and that you should just do it. You should stop making excuses and stop trying to make everything perfect because I always say this, perfectionism is the mother of procrastination. So, Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Back to where we are today. So I am going to be on YouTube. I'm saying that I'm putting that out there into the world because it's something that I really love this platform. I watch a lot of YouTubers. Actually, I really like to watch YouTube. I'm not only going to be posting, but I've watched YouTube from 
way back in the day. So let me know in the comments, maybe some of your favorite YouTubers, your favorite types of content, maybe what you would want us to discuss on this channel, and maybe the types of videos that you like to watch. Do you like to watch talk head videos like this? Do you prefer vlogs or try on hauls or um, unboxing videos? Do people still do unboxings? I, I mean, I don't know if I've seen that many unboxings on YouTube. I'm trying to think. I see mostly vlogs and like tutorials, but I love a good unboxing. I'm not gonna lie. I love to do them when I was on YouTube like ages ago, and I still do them on my Instagram because I think it's for me personally. I don't know if people enjoy them. I hope they do. I usually get good feedback from them. But I do love it from a creative perspective. If I get something from a brand and they're so kind and generous to give me something, then I want to say thank you. And doing an unboxing video and showing the people who follow me what I receive so then they can know what's new and hot and you know, whatever. And if they're interested in the brand, they can look into them. Then I think it's a good way to say thank you, you know? So unboxing videos, let me know in the comments, yay or nay. Actually. As you're in the comments, also, I would love to know where you're joining me from. Let me know if you are based in the US, Canada, maybe you are in Kenya or Ghana or South Africa or shout out your country in the chat, maybe you're in Thailand. Um, definitely let me know where you're joining from, whether it's your city or your country or both. Let's, let's do both. Um, and then let me know. Uh, you got me on a on a roll right now let me know just a fun fact about you i'd love to know something that maybe not everybody knows or most people wouldn't think just from looking at you yeah let's go with that um what else what can you expect from this channel so i think something that's very important for me to share is not only what my life was before the pandemic I know that we all have like a before and then an after and we're still dealing with the aftermaths of the pandemic right now but I also have been on a healing journey and I have to say that when I look at the span of my life it's been one of the most impactful seasons of my life and it's definitely something that I'm going to share about more if you follow me on Instagram you know I've been on a healing journey physically uh, not to be confused with like an emotional healing journey but it was both <laughs> definitely when something is happening to you physically then emotionally you also grow in so many different ways um, and it can either turn out for the good or it can also take a toll and so I definitely want to share more about that because it's something that's so significant that happened to me and I learned so much I have so many lessons that I've taken from that journey and from that season and God has a way of using difficult situations in our lives and you know you can put an amen in the chat if you agree but he'll use difficult situation in our lives to really give us beauty for ashes like I look back and I would not wish this on my worst enemy but I received so many gifts within what I went through that I definitely want to give those gifts back um, to you guys. And somebody that um, is very near and dear to me, when everything first started, they said to me, this is not happening to you, it's going to come through you. And I held on to that and I tell you, I don't know, if you're going through something difficult right now and you're listening to the sound of my voice, this, whatever the situation is, it is not happening to you, but it's coming through you. It's going to bless other people. It's going to help other people if only you decide to go through it and then share uh, on the other side. But we'll have time for more of that later so definitely let me know if that resonates with you and i'll be sharing more on that journey and everything that i learned with you also on this channel i'm gonna be sharing maybe um maybe we'll do some vlogs here and there you know some behind the scenes i'll take you along with me uh, whether it's on travel or shoots or whatever it is that you know god blesses me with this year or in the coming year 
and um, I'm just open. I'm open to collaborations. I'm open to podcasts. I'm open to us discovering what this channel is going to be. So definitely make suggestions. I'd love to know what you want to see and the type of content, like I said, that you enjoy. Put it in the chat. I really want this space to be a safe space. I really want it to be a space where we can come in as a community and just level up. Like just level up in every way, in every sphere, in every area of our lives. And something also that's very near and dear to me that you are gonna see on this channel. And maybe if you were subscribed to me way back when, you might be asking, but uh, Kathleen, where is the ethical fashion? Where is the sustainability? It is still here. You have to see this as an expansion of the topics that we're gonna be talking about, but definitely, I think that a big part of living your best life and leveling up and having a glow up is also to make sure that you support the brands, the ideas, and if anything, 2020, 2021, the great awakening and everything that happened really shed a bright light in terms of what do you care about? What's important to you? And even the times that we're living right now with war and all the stuff that's going on and people asking like, okay, do you support this? Do you not support this? I think it's important to live and to be aligned with our values. So this channel is still very much gonna focus on living your values, shopping your values, and just getting more educated in terms of what we're supporting with our dollar. Like, listen, your money has power. We all know that money is very powerful, but I think that sometimes as individuals, we don't think that we have that much influence or that much power, and that is a lot. You have a lot of influence and your money talks, okay? Your money talks. What you put your money towards says something to the brands, it says something about you, and so we're definitely going to have a lot of posts, uh, not posts, this is not IG. <laughs> gonna have a lot of videos um, a lot of discussions and conversations about how we're leveling up in terms of our shopping habits and then for sure faith I am a woman of faith I believe that I am where I am and who I am because of my faith and when I take you through more of what I've learned in my healing journey it's powerful and it's nothing but God and so yeah we gonna be talking about all of that stuff one more thing that you can expect from me, I'm putting it out there, is a new video every week. And listen, if you've liked this so far, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Click that notification button so you can get notified every time that I upload. And you can expect, like I said, videos like this. We're gonna talk about leveling up and being the best versions of ourselves and making sure that we're pursuing our dreams. Kind of like this says, it doesn't say think about your dream. It doesn't say believe in your dream, dream your dream. No, 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 live your dream. And that's on purpose. We need to bring things into the real world and not only our imagination. And me posting this video is doing exactly that. Bringing something into the real world and not it just living in my mind or in my notebook somewhere. So like I said, a video every week. I'm committing to that uh, so you can come here every week and you'll have a new video from me. Let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about. You'll see some vlogs here and there where I'll take you with me on life because I love romanticizing my life. This is like one of my new things. I used to be such a type A, like what's next kind of person and I just learned to kind of slow down and smell the roses, like slow down and look around and be more present with the people that I'm with. And so romanticizing life for sure and the vlogs are gonna be both for me to take you behind the scenes but also for me to have those memories. So I think memories are so important and I'm notorious for documenting everything. Like my phone, I don't know if I should tell myself right now, my phone is a terabyte. I have a terabyte of space on my phone. I got an iPhone and when they said terabyte, 
was a thing I said that's what I want that's what I need because I'm always documenting things so I got a terabyte and I'm not proud to say that I ran out of storage yeah I ran out of storage so I have like a Google Photos Google Drive situation and they've also notified me that I'm running out of storage so to all that to say that um, it's part of my memories, also part to share them with you. So vlogs are coming up in the comments. Let me know what else you want to see and we'll just see where this goes. Like I'm here for the ride. I'm here for the journey and I hope that you'll join me again. Subscribe, like, comment and also if you are looking for me on other platforms, it's Conscious and Chic everywhere. I also have a website, a blog that is, yes, blogs still exist <laughs> um and I just love being able to post the photos and the style inspirations and also tell you guys about some of my favorite brands like I have that on consciousandchic.com so if you're looking for okay I don't know what to shop this that and the third or how to style da 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 da, da just go on consciousandchic.com and you'll see all that there and then all the social media platforms and if you want to connect with me personally I'll have all that links below um for also my personal social media this is it I'm so happy that you're gonna be joining me on this journey and I will see you in my next video bye